Hey guys, today I'll be talking about the Boulder Tools Tire Deflator Kit. Um, I just recently got this kit and I want I used it last week at a trail and I really enjoyed it. I want to show you guys um, the product and how to set it up. Uh, I started off with the ARB a Quick Deflator Kit. It was a single tire at a time. I would, I would have to plug into every tire, monitor while it deflated, and hopefully I don't over deflate the tires. Um, it, it, it was just a hassle having to worry about uh, different pressures on each tire and monitoring each one. I'd rather have it worry free, just plug in the valve, step away, hang out with the friends, and come back to the vehicle's tires perfectly deflated to the 20 PSI that I preset. So I thought that would be a big bonus and I definitely think that being worry free is the way to go. Uh, this also comes with the AA very discreet tiny box that I keep on the back of that foreigner. What's included is a valve to check the PSI. It comes with some caps, some tools. Um, it also comes with one of these cross tools where I can easily plug the valve or unscrew the valve and it'll deflate really quickly. And of course I have these four heavy duty brass fittings that I need to preset. They're, they're pretty heavy so I know that they're definitely heavy duty. Um, it comes with a lock. Once I find the correct PSI, I just set the lock and it will just deflate right at this perfect position. So I'll show you a video on how to set that up. So there are different ways to deflate the tire. Uh, this is the gauge that they gave me. You want to make sure that there's no pressure in there. Once you press the valve down, it shows you where it's at. It's currently at 25. Uh, I want to go ahead and get it down to 20. Um, I'll go ahead and screw on one of the brass fittings. Let it air down. I'm going to screw it, cap it real quick, take it out, test where it's at. It's currently at 22, so it's almost there. I'm going to screw it back on. I'm going to let a little bit more out. Let's check where it's at. 20. So this is a PSI that I want when I hit the trails. Um, that's the set pressure that I want to get these quick connect gauges onto. So let me go ahead and put this fitting in there. I'm going to mess with it. It gets to a point where it's barely off. And then I'll go ahead and close the big ring which will lock that into place and once that's set I will know that this one is going to be at 20 PSI right off the bat um, and this will be the good one and so I will, I'll go ahead and set the other three so that they will all be set to the quick connect 20 PSI point I'll just go ahead and screw it on Okay, that's two, and then this is the third. Again, you're, all you're doing is screwing it in there, 